All good things have to come to an end, and yes, I'm going to talk about Dark Souls going away, because too much good is bad. The good starts to feel less good, and we start to notice what we thought was good might not have been so good. Dark Souls 3 is weird, extremely weird. The amount of Game of the Year awards it's won in games journalism and from YouTubers and Twitch streamers is nothing short of, well, impressive. But why is it the Dark Souls 3 content creators especially, unless you found your niche, weapon showcase videos or challenge runs, finding something to talk about is, well, really, really difficult? Well, I'll tell you. It's because, and well, I'm speaking for myself, I'm kind of burnt out. Take a look at the big dogs in the Souls community. The amount of content being put out by those folks has, well, almost stopped. To me, we've sucked the teat dry of Dark Souls completely, and Dark Souls 3 especially seems to have a shorter fuse than normal, burning bright for brief periods and then quietly taking a backseat. I've put over a thousand hours into Dark Souls 3, so it's no one's fault but my own, but when I say, yeah, maybe I'm burnt out, but Jesus Christ, did I get my money's worth. But, as anyone who's addicted to anything, with the needle prepped, we're all still craving that last hit of Souls content. With the passing of Ashes of Ariandel, the general consensus was, yeah, it was okay, but what's next? And that's not really a good thing, is it? Despite your opinion on DLC 1, even if it was PvP focused, let's be honest, it didn't give people incentive to keep playing, but in its defense, that's almost an impossible task. We play the living shit out of these games, so it's no one's fault but our own, like I said. Of course we're gonna feel burnt out, but we still act like a spoilt brat, and we say there wasn't enough content to justify the, what was it, $20 price tag? Yet they'll still put 100 hours in, but I digress. I know I've talked about the possibility of Dark Souls 4 and Bloodborne 2, Jesus Christ, I've done it to death. But, by the way, check out my new tattoo. Honestly, fuck that. No, I don't want it, and maybe I'm speaking for myself, but you can put those games and bury them. They served their purpose. Like I said, too much good is bad. Breaking Bad was amazing and ended at the right time. And then there's a show like Supernatural. Maybe that wasn't the best comparison, so okay. Yearly game releases have become the jizz stain on today's modern games. There is a reason like GTA and the Elder Scrolls games have this world where we can get lost in and it actually feels somewhat alive. It's because they spent years making them. Then we have Far Cry, Assassin's Creed and Call of Duty acting as a corporate husk, releasing a lifeless game because of, well, money. I don't want Dark Souls to be like that and if it does continue in the way it's going, I mean shit, From Software are my favourite studio but even I don't trust them with yearly or even bi-yearly releases of Souls games for that matter. We can already see that. People say that Dark Souls 1 is their favourite and I honestly don't believe that's down to nostalgia purposes. I believe it's game design, world design, aesthetics, but blah 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 blah, we could go on about this forever. The Souls games have been getting worse, but not bad, but that's just my opinion man. But then we have Bloodborne, a true spanner in the works and a testament to what From Software can do when they're not shackled by the name of Dark Souls. I mean, for crying out loud, Dark Souls 2 and 3 wasn't even supposed to be a thing, so let it die gracefully, with dignity, because it's what that franchise deserves. So what I'm trying to say is, Bloodborne is a fucking masterpiece. Don't get sad because Dark Souls is leaving us, but be excited that we might have another game like Bloodborne. Also, this last DLC better be fucking amazing.